Hi readers, welcome back. It's Mrs. Harper from Geniata Gap again. I'm so happy to see you all. Thanks for tuning in. I'm back here with Rashid. This week we're going to start talking about R-controlled vowels. And our first R-controlled vowel that we're going to talk about is A. And A-R says R. Can you all say R? Great job. Let's see what Rashid has made for us today. We can read along with Rashid. Star, car, shark, garden, park, barn, cards, smart. If you look at these words, you see A-R says R in all of them. Let's read them again. Star, car, shark, garden, park, barn, cards, smart. Oh, that Rashid is always trying to challenge us. He gave us a whole bunch of sentences with AR words in it. And remember, we know that AR says R because the R is controlling that vowel. Let's read them together. Do you see the stars in the sky? We can go in the car to the park. There is a shark in the water. The garden is near the barn. Rashid knows how smart you all are. I like to play cards with my friends. Now readers, what you can do is pause the video right here and go back and read those sentences in your silly voices, a scary voice, a loud voice, your whisper voices, just like we've been doing when we see these sentences that Rashid gives to us. Go ahead and pause the video now and give that a try. I know you can do it because you're such great readers. Awesome job working on your R controlled vowel sounds, friends. During reading workshop, we're gonna work on noticing characters' feelings. Get comfy and get ready. Today we're gonna to work on noticing when the character has strong feelings. Yesterday you were able to act out a few pages in the book, The Three Little Pigs. I was noticing how sneaky the wolf was when he, and how he looked when he was knocking on the little pig's doors and how fierce he looked when he was blowing the house down. He looked really scary. When readers notice strong feelings in a character, they can make a note of it on a sticky and put it in the book. Today, I wanna to teach you that when you read, you can always be aware of the places where the main character has these feelings too by marking it with a sticky so you can go back and show your partner, maybe when you're doing partner reading, or show a friend at home or a family member at home where this character was feeling these strong feelings. Last night, boys and girls, I went back and I reread some of the stories that we, or some of the parts of the stories that we were working on. So I wanna go back through the Three Little Pigs and show you some of the parts that I saw where the wolf was seeing some really strong emotions, was feeling some really strong emotions. So I saw this part right here. And I said, when he was knocking on the door, he looked a little sneaky. So I want you to look at his little face. He looks pretty sneaky there. But by the end, I think he was feeling annoyed. So let's reread that part. Along came a wolf. He knocked at the door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, no, said the little pig. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll puff, then I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. I think at that point, the wolf was probably annoyed. And I just put my little sticky note right there. And I put the feelings that I think the wolf was feeling. He was feeling sneaky in the beginning and annoyed by the end. And then if you look at this part, he, had blow, he was blowing the house in. So the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in and he ate up the first little pig. Oh, he was pretty savage there. So I marked that with my sticky note too. You could do this too at home with your book. Okay, friends, let's continue reading our book and keep looking for those strong feelings. At last, the wolf stopped huffing and puffing and said, little pig, I know where there's a nice field of turnips. Where, said the little pig. On Mr. Smith's farm, said the wolf. I will come for you tomorrow morning. We will go together and get some turnips for dinner. Very well, said the little pig. What time will you come? Oh, it's six o'clock, said the wolf. So let's stop and think about what kind of feelings that wolf is feeling right there. I have some post-its set aside. I want you to think about what post-its you would put down on that page. I think the wolf's being a little tricky, so I put a post-it up that said sly on that page, and the wolf's acting nice also, so I put nice on that page. Thumbs up if you agree with me. Great. Let's go to the next page. 
Let's keep reading and see what strong feelings we can find. Well, the little pig got up at five. He went to Mr. Smith's farm and got the turnips before the wolf came to his house. Little pig, are you ready? asked the wolf. Little pig said, ready? I have been and come back again, and I got a nice pot full of turnips for my dinner. I just want you to take a look at the wolf's face. How do you think he's feeling? Go ahead and yell it out. Now I want you to put that emotion or that feeling on a sticky note and go ahead and put that right down, just like if you had a book right there for you. Perfect. Okay, readers, as you're reading today, what I want you to do is either take sticky notes or just a piece of paper and jot down feelings of the characters as you see them and put them in your book. So when you're done reading, you can go back and figure out where those characters had those strong feelings at. Can you do that for me? I know you can. All right, friends, I have our new anchor chart here. It's stepping into magical worlds. Yesterday, you did pretend to be the character. And today, it's notice when characters have strong feelings. And that's what we just practiced, is noticing when characters have strong feelings. That's what I want you to do. I want you to remember today when you're reading to mark where the characters in your books have strong feelings. And practice looking out for when those characters have those strong feelings. Happy reading, friends. Until next time. Bye.